A new resource for parents in Oak Ridge and surrounding areas is open. It offers parents an option of using the state's safe haven law. She found out she was pregnant. She was hidden for the remainder of the pregnancy and then she gave birth in April of 1973 and abandoned her child two hours after that child was born. And that child was me. That was the founder of the Safe Haven Baby Box nonprofit. She wants mothers to have a safe, legal and anonymous way to surrender their baby with hope that no more children will be abandoned unsafely. And 10 News reporter Lauren Davis joining us now to explain the new box in Oak Ridge. Lauren. John, the first safe haven baby box in Tennessee opened last February in Knoxville. This Oak Ridge baby box is now the eighth in the state. A safe haven baby box allows mothers to drop off their newborns. No questions asked. The mother can actually, they, they come to the fire station, they can open the door. Once the door is open, there's a silent alarm. It sounds when the baby is placed into the bassinet, it triggers another alarm. When they shut the door, the door automatically locks. If a mother uses the box, she will find an orange bag inside full of resources. We want mom to know that there's medical knowledge in this booklet and medical um, services if she needs them. There's also a safe haven registry. If she wants to write in later and give ethnicity information, medical information, identifying information, she can do that at a later date. Monica Kelsey, the founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes, says there are 236 boxes across the country in 17 states. This baby box was dedicated to baby Wyatt, a newborn found wrapped in an oversized shirt floating on the banks of Melton Lake back in 2020. Oak Ridge Police Chief Robin Smith says the child's identity is still a mystery. We've submitted DNA, DNA evidence to uh, state lab and to also some private labs to try to identify maybe the family. We've not had any luck at this point. We are open to fresh leads. He says the hope with this box is that something like that won't happen again. I wish it had been available four years ago and maybe we wouldn't be talking about baby white now if it were. So maybe this will help with the next baby white. The Safe Haven Baby Box founder says thanks to a generous state donor, there is money available to cover the cost of any Tennessee fire station or hospital that would like a baby box installed. She says to contact the organization if you're interested. John. Lauren, thank you. We have seen them used in Tennessee.